Hey everyone, it's Christine with Momspiration412, founder of EduPlay, and we are here tonight for Momspiration Monday, <clears throat> excuse me, and we are going to be talking about party planning tips and how you can plan a great successful party, um, either impromptu on the spot or if you have time while you're planning, what are some of those tips and tricks to kind of have an easy flowing party with, you know, regular party essentials on hand. So <clears throat> when you do join, go ahead and drop your favorite emoji so I know that you guys are here. And let me know, do you guys love to host parties or would you rather go somewhere and have someone else take care of it? Do you like to have parties at your home? Or do you like to go somewhere so that people aren't in your home? Or do you guys like to cook? Or do you guys like to have it catered? So Tonight on our poll, we had a lot of great responses, so thank you guys so much for responding there and letting us know how your party planning is. Um, I have a lot of party planners in the Momspiration412 community, so woohoo, shout out to you guys. I am a huge party planner. I love, love, love planning parties and having events, and actually before the Momspiration412 community started... I started a planning party business. So this is really something that I do love to do. I love to plan my kids' birthday parties. I've planned anniversary parties. I've planned, you know, 50th birthday parties, like lots of great events, and I just love, love, love it. People have actually asked me um, coming up to plan graduation parties and, you know, lots of fun things because I just love it. I love to plan things out, make a checklist, you know, get everything ready and just have a great time. So I just want to introduce myself. I'm Christine Furman. I am the founder of Momspiration412. And what we do for Momspiration412 is we have hands-on fun activities for kids of all ages and abilities. While the kiddos are having fun, it gives you moms a time to make connections. It gives you time to interact and talk with other moms, as well as just getting a chance to kind of recharge and be able to, you know, enjoy your time with your kiddos. So it's a great opportunity for both the kids and the moms or parents. I've asked, I've been asked if dads are invited. Absolutely. My husband is a huge part of Momspiration412 and a lot of other dads as well have attended our events and they are definitely welcome. So everyone is welcome at our events. Moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, friends, sitters, whatever it is, bring them out to the Momspiration412 events. We always all have a good time. And throughout the Momspiration412 events, what we do is we use um, a curriculum that I developed. It's called EduPlay. And it's all about having your kiddos be able to have fun, learn, and create. So a little bit of all of that and educating and just all kind of fun stuff to do. So tonight we're going to hop on. And if you guys are here, let me know if you are here. Drop your favorite emoji, your party emoji, and let me know what kind of fun um what kind of parties you guys like to have, and if you guys have ever been to a Momspiration 412 party. So let me guys let me know if you guys have attended a Momspiration 412 party event, or if you've come to one of my kids' birthday parties or any party that we had. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate you guys hopping on tonight. I know how busy we all are with the kiddos and bedtime and dinner time and cleaning up and getting in the swing of things. So I hope you're having a wonderful 2020. And I wanted to start off 2020 with, you know, just fun tips and tricks. So for Momspiration412 events now, or not events, but the Momspiration Mondays, we are going to be providing you with tips and tricks and just real mom advice. So that's why I asked you guys, what do you guys want to hear about? And we're going to give it to you. So tonight we're going to be talking about parties because we had a lot of parties. You had probably holiday parties, New Year's parties. You know, I know January is jam-packed for us with birthday parties now, like literally every weekend. We have at least one, some 
two parties to go to. Like we have two weekends and we have two parties. So we are jam packed with parties in January. And I just thought this was a really great way to just kind of start us off with some party info, just some fun, you know, some tips and tricks for you guys. So people ask me in October when Halloween was, you know, a rain out kind of a day, we decided to have an impromptu Halloween party here, you know, especially for, for people that don't have family in town or that were going to go trick-or-treating and they couldn't go trick-or-treating. Like everyone came over here and we had a great party. So it was literally 24 hours before the party started. I said, hey, let's have a party here. And thank God for my husband that's totally like, sure, whatever, you know, have a party. So a couple things that I always have on hand is some of the things that we're going to talk about tonight, some of the ways that I don't stress myself out when we're having a party, because a lot of it is, first of all, I love to have parties. So for me, a party is not stressful until it's the last half hour and the food's not in the oven or all the food has to go in the oven at different times. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight too, and hopefully I can start solving that problem because that's my huge problem. So if you guys are here, go ahead and hop on. Let me know that you guys are popping on. I love to see you guys. I love to see who's hopping on tonight. So thank you guys so much. All right, so a few things that I have on hand. So whenever I, you know, go grocery shopping, I always get a few of these things. I kind of keep them in the fridge just in case or the freezer, um, in the pantry, whatever it may be just in case someone were to pop over. So, and it doesn't have to be a party, but maybe, you know, you're having an impromptu play date or like we did for Halloween, we had an impromptu party. I grabbed a couple things and we threw it together and it was great. You know, for me, that was less stress because I felt like I didn't have time to plan and think about all the different things. You know, it was, we're gonna have this, this, and this because that's what I have on hand. Um, can you please bring this? I'm going to stop at the store and grab these things. You know, we had a party and we just had a good time. So think about that. You know, for me, when I plan a party in advance, I take more time because I'm stressing myself out a little bit of all the things that I could be doing. Um, where for me, an impromptu party is probably a little easier because I just go, this is what we're having. Here we go. Hey guys, if you're here, let me know what your favorite party emoji is, and do you guys like to host parties? Welcome guys, thanks so much for joining. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is things to have on hand. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. Things to have on hand for a party. So for us, we have a Sam's Club membership. You may have Sam's Club, you ha may have Costco, you may go to the dollar store, whatever the situation may be, but it's always great to have paper plates, napkins, and forks, and cups. Like those things are good, you know, paper products to kind of have on hand. And then that way, when you do have a party, you don't have all the dishes to wash. So that's a great thing. Those are some great essentials. You can get them in bulk at Sam's Club or Costco, or you go to the dollar store and you get a couple of them for five, 10 bucks, and you have everything that you might need. So. Um, whatever way works best for you. We just happen to go to Sam's Club, so that's what I get, or, you know, we have. Hey, guys, thanks for hopping on. Let me know that you guys are here. Give me a little shout out. So those are some of the things I have on hand, like paper products that aren't going to go bad. I just put them in either in the pantry, downstairs in the basement, or I put them in the laundry room, like we have shelving in there. Um, some of the food that we have on hand. So this is something that I really do love. It's spinach artichoke dip from Trader Joe's. And it's relatively inexpensive. This might be three bucks. And it is literally two and a half minutes in the microwave, another two minutes, and it's done. It's a nice little ball, like it's a frozen ball. And you just pop it in a bowl. You pop it in the microwave, you stir it up, you pop it back in, and it's a great dip to have. Everyone loves it. It's a great dip to have. So that's something that I always keep in the freezer because that's something easy. It doesn't take up much space, and it's good. It's, it's really good. So another thing that we got this party for, we just had Alex's party, is we got the bigger tub. So this one is at Sam's Club, a spinach artichoke dip. Same kind of deal, you know, this one just is fresh. So this one you would have to eat up quickly. Um, so we did get that. 
The other thing you could do with like leftovers of this, because we have it, is get French um, Italian bread and or French baguettes or whatever, the Italian bread, and put this on it and then toast it. It's so good that way too. So <clears throat> lots of things you can do. Those are a few things you can have on hand and have like a bag of pita chips in the pantry or have a package of crackers or like tortilla chips. Another thing I always have on hand is salsa, a jar of salsa. That's always something I have on hand, either Trader Joe's or Sam's Club or wherever you get your salsa and, you know, tortilla chips. So those are two things I always have on hand. The other thing that I get, this is not something that I have on hand. Well, I'll, I'll do a couple other things I have on hand. So another thing I have on hand is um, a big box of brownies. So I get brownies from Sam's Club and it has like four or five packages of brownies in it. Um, so you could just whip up one bag of those brownies very easily, you know, whenever you're having people over. So that way you have kind of a dessert too. Some other things that we have on hand, like in our fridge, we have a fridge downstairs. So we have pop, we have juice boxes, we have little baby waters. Um, so those are some of the things that we keep on hand in case people come over. You know, we drink water all the time here. So we always try to have something for other people, um, that they can drink and that, that kind of goes for a lot of things, but there's there's always those. Um, you may want to keep pop and beer, I mean beer and wine on hand. Um, we do have a couple bottles, we have a little bit, but that's not always an essential for us. So um, that may be something that you want to keep on hand. Another thing that we keep on hand is frozen pizzas. It's simple, it's easy. For the Halloween party, we popped in frozen pizzas. It was quick. It was easy. Everyone enjoyed it. They took a, you know, a couple pieces of pizza and they went trick or treating or they just hung out, you know? So don't be afraid to kind of serve those just like basic things. You know, another thing that I have here is chicken nuggets. Kids love chicken nuggets. So why not have those and serve those? And those can be, you know, something that you're serving at your party. Another thing I keep in the pantry is a box of macaroni and cheese. You know, kids love macaroni and cheese. Adults will eat macaroni and cheese sometimes. So those are a few things that you kind of keep on hand and you can use them anytime. So another thing that is something that's quick and easy. So you want to go, you don't want to spend so much on a veggie tray because they can be, you know, about $10 or something. Um, what I found at Sam's Club is this here. It's a big bag of veggies. So it's a huge bag and it has carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower in it. So we use this for dinner. You know, we can boil it, we can, you know, the kids can choose whatever kind of veggies they want. Or for an event, I dump that all in a bowl and then I separate it out. You know, here's the space for the broccoli, here's where the carrots are, here's the cauliflower, and then I put ranch dressing in the other spots. So I have my own little veggie tray and guess what? This was only four bucks for a whole bunch of veggies that we actually eat. So that's one little saving tip that we use um, that is helpful because a lot of people eat it. And then if we don't, you know, we just boil it up and we have veggies, you know, so that's nice. Um, another thing that's quick and easy that if you were to go out before a party, you can always get like those little Hawaiian buns and you can get lunch meat and cheese and either people could make their own sandwiches or you could make sandwiches for them. So I know one of my friends at her parties, she always says that. She always has two trays, one with ham and cheese and one with turkey and cheese and they're already pre-made. You just grab a sandwich and you go. So it's very simple. Like sometimes simpler the better. For me, that's not always the case, I know, but it is. It's always simpler. It's easier. Um, another thing that I have gotten at parties that have helped and been very quick and easy and, you know, people have loved them are like those bag salads. So they have like Asian salad, they have Southwest salad, they have kale salad, and it's like everything mixed in one. So at Sam's Club, they're probably about two bucks and it's, you know, there's the salad mix, there's the wontons, there's the dressing and there may be nuts in it. And you just mix it all together and you serve it. It's very inexpensive and now you have a salad dish. So all of these things that are relatively quick and easy, you can put on a quick party pretty easy. Another thing that people were stating were that they get their parties catered. So I have heard 
wonderful things about Armstrong Catering, which we consider doing for Alex's party. I've heard that they have lots of great food and you get a lot of it for what you pay for it. So I need to look into that because that's sometimes as my biggest stress is making sure that all the food is ready and all of it always is at different temperatures, of course, you know. So catering is definitely an option and a lot of people put that on the poll that they do cater um, their parties. Another thing you could do, um, like Chick-fil-A, you can pick up you know, Chick-fil-A trays or Giant Eagle has trays and sandwich rings. Like some, some simple things like that are great for parties as well. Another thing um, <clears throat> would be, there was something I thought of. Hmm, I don't remember. So think about those types of things. Like you want the party to be quick. You want it to be easy. You want, you know, you want your guests to be happy with good food and it doesn't always have to be so expensive. So think about that. Think about being able to throw a party on at the last minute. Maybe, you know, a couple friends that they're coming over. Boom. You can run to the store, grab a few things, and you're good to go. So for entertainment, think about, like, if you're going to have a party for kids or if there's going to be kids there. For entertainment, think simple. Think, like, old school, what we used to have at our birthdays. You know, think um, a dance party. So we just had Alex's party. We did a whole Paw Patrol theme, and we did the Pup Pup Boogie. So they put on their masks, they had the little Pup Pup pad, and they started dancing to the, the Paw Patrol music. They loved it. Think about like musical chairs, you know, set the chairs up, put the music on, and they go around, you know. You can do musical chairs. You could do um, pin the tail on whatever. You know, they have so many different variations now. I've been to a party where they had little teacups and they put it on a saucer. We did a Paw Patrol. We had a paw that went on the Paw Patroller. There was um, like a badge from Marshall. There's, there's so many variations, like a unicorn. You could do a horn. You could do a tail. You could do, um, I mean, you could do a bunny with bunny ears. Like we just were at a party. They had Pikachu, and they had the tail for Pikachu. So all of these different things you could do for pin the tail on whatever, you know, and there's different ways you can look online for some of those like posters or you can go buy a poster and you can make some things like it's a very simple game that all kids like to play. Um, another one that we played was like toss the, we tossed the ball and what I did is I took buckets, I took blue buckets and I put a red bucket in the middle. So they had to throw the balls into the buckets and you could give points. You could say the red one's the winner. You know, you could say it has more points. Try to get it in any bucket, like whatever it is. But the kids are just being active. They're throwing it. You know, having things that the kids are engaged in doing is fun for them. Um, and you could also do that with like bean bags. You can have bean bags for that. Another thing that's simple is just coloring pages. So I printed um, Paw Patrol coloring pages, put some stickers out, put some crayons out, and the older kids were kind of in there and they were just standing around the table coloring and stick, you know, putting stickers on. So sometimes simple is, is great for them. They just want to do something different maybe. So think about those kinds of things. And if you guys want Momspiration 412, we could do birthday parties with you. So think about that next time you're planning your parties. We can do all of these things for you so you guys don't have to worry about them. So think about that for um, any of your future events. Maybe Momspiration 412 could help you on those things. We could bring the games. We could give you some suggestions on food, all of the things. So think about that. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or any kind of like fun things that you guys do for your parties that maybe I didn't mention here, please post those in the comments because I love learning new ideas and new tricks and new strategies and maybe that would, you know, help other people too planning parties. So um, the other thing, if you have been to any Momspiration events or any parties, go ahead and share that. Share any fun moments. I know quite a few people were at Alex's Paw Patrol party, and it was great. We had a great time. We were jam-packed, and it was fabulous. Like, I absolutely love that. So if you guys have been to any of the events, please pop that in the comments and let us know that you guys have been here. 
All right, so the other thing is that I wanted to let you guys know is that our winter sessions are open. Mm -hmm. So they are starting next Wednesday. So that's January 5th, 15th, I'm sorry, January 15th. And that's going to the first week of March. And there's gonna be three sessions. So we have a Wednesday morning at 10.15. We have a Thursday morning at 10.15. And we have a Thursday evening at six. So I hope these times are gonna work out for you guys. Like I'm hoping that we'll be able to get um, some people in here at different times. That's why we made them different times, different days than we did previously. And the location is in the Robinson area. It's close to Settlers Ridge. It's close to 376, 79, Washington, South Hills, North Hills, like all of the things. So. If you guys need more information on the winter sessions, let me know. I will be posting a ton of information this week so you guys have more info about them. And also, we are going to do a date night for Valentine's Day, and that will probably be on that Saturday. So stay tuned for that. So a date night for Valentine's Day on February 15th. And um, that way you guys can go out and have a great Valentine's Day dinner. So. Um, I will be posting all of this info and letting you guys know everything that's coming up. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. Let me know that you guys are here. I love seeing everyone here. But if you guys have any more party planning tips or strategies, let me know. If you guys thought these were helpful tips or strategies, just give me a thumbs up. Give me some hearts. Give me some love, whatever it is. And I thank you guys so much for joining me on your Monday evening. I know everyone is super busy, so thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. All right, guys, remember, see each moment as a chance to learn. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.